Halloween without treats. So welcome back to our last Backcraft video with Kat and Melissa. Um, so why don't you tell us what we're making today? Today we're making what we call bat hugs. And to do this, we're going to need a pair of scissors. You're gonna look for that PDF on our website of a shape like this. And you're just gonna cut that out so that you can trace it on another piece of colored paper here, just like that. You're gonna need your chocolate treats. And on the inside of this thing, you're gonna be able to put a message or maybe even a bat joke. I'm going to put in our native bat conservation program logo. And that's just a way for us to remind, or for me to remind my friends that I'm giving the treats to where to look up some conservation initiatives um, about the bats and things that we do here at the Toronto Zoo. That sounds great. Do you wanna talk about a little bit of how we can help bats? So how we can help bats is just be batty for bats. Just talk to people about how cool those animals are, about all the things that you learned during these videos. Show off the cool crafts that you made and just tell people why they are so important for us to have and that having a world without bats is actually kind of scary. Um, about at least 500 species of plants rely on services by bats. So without bats, those plants may not thrive. So those are some of the things that you can do. Become an ambassador. <laughs> hey. <laughs> but also, think about um, careers of revolving around the environment. So things like ecology, conservation, um, climate change, uh, and or just science in general. If you're helping the environment, you're helping bats because bats live in our environment. Um, but not only that, you'll be helping a whole bunch of other organisms as well. And remember, there's also another thing, is just always ask questions. It's really important just to, just to ask why and, and, and be able to, just to be able to think about some of the things that you hear. Uh, you want to be able to separate bat fact from bat myth. So let's test Kat out on <laughs> some of the bat facts and bat myths that she may think um, based on things that she's heard before. So Kat, bats are rodents. They are not rodents. That is correct. Bats belong to their own group called Chiroptera, which is made a very large group with many, many different kinds of species, all sorts of sizes and colors, uh, super diverse. All right, what about bats get tangled in hair? I'm gonna say no to this one because I remember you saying something about bats and how they actually fear people. That is correct. Bats do not get tangled in your hair. In fact, <laughs> bats are very afraid of people and they don't want anything to do with you. But, um, but bats, they're not the most graceful flyers out there. So sometimes people see those bats flying erratically and they think, ah, they're going to get stuck in my hair. Believe me. I've been in caves surrounded by millions and millions of bats. Not once have I had any bats <laughs> caught in my hair. <laughs> um, just before we move on, I'm just gonna show, so I've taken the wings of the bat and I've folded them. On the PDF that you guys are gonna see, there's gonna be some fold lines there that'll help you. Um, and I've glued in our little note inside. I put a piece of tape on the back of the chocolate and that's going right in there. And then to close it off, you just do this. And I got some really cool stickers here. And I'm just gonna tape it down just like that. And now it's ready for me to share with all of my friends. Oh, perfect. <laughs> um, but yeah, like more things that you do to help bats is just leave some leaves. We, we, we learned that some bats and other animals actually use those leaves for hibernation. So um, when you're raking, you know, just leave, leave a corner for, for wildlife. Um, also, another thing to consider since it's Halloween, sometimes those cobwebs that we like to put up to make things a little bit more spooky, sometimes, depending on where we put them up, can get wildlife caught inside of them. Mm. So you want to make sure to protect the birds, the bees, the bats, that, that we be careful with where we put some of those. Mm -hmm. For sure. But no, I wanted to thank Kat over here for yes, doing a fantastic job with us. Thanks for um, teaching us about bats. It's been really amazing. Yeah, we, we hope that you've enjoyed your time with us and if, we'd love to see your bat crafts, just hashtag bat week. 
um, and so that we could see some of those cool things that you've come up with. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to learn more about the Native Bat Conservation Program where I work, you can go to torontozoo.com slash bats. Now remember, I'm an expert that works with bats and I'm tra I've trained many years in order to work with wildlife. While it's okay to look at bats, we don't want to touch bats because they're very afraid of us and they may react uh, defensively and, and may bite. And that's the same goes for any kind of wild animals. It's okay to look, but don't touch. If you find, that you, if you find a bat uh, that looks like needs help, make sure you always go find an adult so that they can contact your local wildlife rehabilitation center. In our case, it would be Toronto Wildlife Center to, to find out what more you can do to help that animal. So have a happy bat week, everyone.